Hello and welcome. My name is Elaine Williams and I am founder and creator of Captivate the Crowd. And I am making a video because I feel like we need to focus on survivor stories, strength stories, courageous stories, and we need to laugh now more than ever. It is March 19th, the day after my sister's birthday. Um, and I will not tell you some of the family drama that went on yesterday, because that's for, <laughs> wow! Uh, is there any wonder I'm a comedian? So um, I have been, I came up with this idea. I, it is, March is the um, month of women. And this Time Magazine is amazing. And I read through it so hungrily, all of the, amazing stories about women and minority women that I don't know about. You know, I grew up in Texas public schools. Uh, so a lot of the history that I studied was very whitewashed and patriarchal. I'm in my 50s, so I'm, I'm still catching up. So um, just please laugh today. Um, get on the phone and talk to a friend, check on them, watch YouTube videos, watch old Elvis and Costello videos, watch Lucille Ball, look at Wanda Sykes, Sarah Silverman, Maria Bamford, um, Eddie Brill, Lenny Marcus. There are so many brilliant comics, maybe some you've never heard of. You know, you could use this time to watch hours and hours of news and, and I, I have been myself, and it's so sad, and it's scary, and I get it. And after a certain point, like, okay, what else can you focus on? And I think it's really important. Like, we cannot control what's happening in the world, right? We can't, but we can control what we're putting in our brains, in our thoughts, in our hearts, in our minds, in our guts, in our minds, in our guts, and what we're putting out. So I just implore you, um, if you've always wanted to go deeper into a spiritual practice, it might be a great time to explore that. <laughs> if you want to work on your video, you should contact me because I have a feeling my business is going to go, whoa, now that people are like zooming all the time, right? But today I wanted to talk about this woman, Margaret Chase Smith. In 1950, she was named Woman of the Year, Conscience of a Nation. On June 1st, 1950, Maine Senator, she's from Maine, yay Bernie, Margaret Chase Smith, she was the only woman in the U.S. Senate at the time. She stood up before the world's greatest deliberative body and confronted a fellow Republican, Joseph McCarthy. So if you are... 50 and up, you know about Joseph McCarthy. If you're younger than 50, he was um, a senator in the 50s who really used the fear mongering and rallying to create tremendous um, breaks in the entertainment industry. He used the fear of communism to black male people and put people on um, lists where they couldn't work anymore. He destroyed many people's careers and tarnished many people's um, reputations. And he was really, um, he really went after, he, he changed the fabric of the country in the 50s. He really used that fear of communism in a, in a really bad manipulative way. Most people feel that way. Um, so she stood up as the only woman in the Senate, in the U.S. Senate. And she said, people in this country have the right to hold unpopular beliefs. They have the right to protest. They have a right of independent thought. The exercise of these rights should not cost one single American citizen his reputation or his right to a livelihood, nor should he be in danger of losing his reputation or livelihood merely because he happens to know someone who holds unpopular beliefs. There's plenty of stuff on this if you want to go on YouTube. This could be your project of the day if you wanted to learn more about U.S. history, because McCarthy, um, 
really did some huge, huge, horrible things. And, uh, you know, this statement, Margaret Chase Smith, June 1st, 1950, this is a statement of true tolerance and resonates with the core of American principles. Although Smith was hailed in some quarters, McCarthy responded with an insult fit for Twitter, calling Smith and her six Republican co-signers Snow White and the Six Dwarves. But ultimately, Smith prevailed. She did more than merely confronting McCarthy. She defined the GOP as the champion of unity and prudence. She placed the party in the lineage of Abraham Lincoln. She was a strong Republican, but she said, I don't want to see the Republican Party rise to victory on the four horses of calamity, fear, ign ignorance, bigotry, and smear. There are times when victory is not worth the cost. I think that is so beautiful. Like a woman in 1950, talk about ovaries, conehays, whatever you want to say. Um, that inspires me to speak my truth and to keep speaking um, a need for tolerance, for love, you know, every moment we can choose. Do we want to go towards the light or do we want to go towards the dark? Do we want to feed into the fear and the frenzy or do we want to pray for solutions and kindness and love? At the end of the day, that's what we have. You know, I, we have no control, right? We have no control right now about what's happening. The only thing we can control is our hearts and our thoughts and what comes in and out of our mouths and our minds, right? And so I just wanted to share that with you, Margaret Chase Smith, um, one of my new heroes, a woman I wish I had been told about in my history, but I am learning um, better late than never. So I hope that you are safe and happy and healthy. I hope that you are reaching out to people and staying connected with Zoom, with Facebook groups, with phone calls, with telephone meetings. I hope that you are grateful for what you do have and praying for people who need help and love right now. Thanks for watching and I hope to connect with you, see you on the screen soon. Have an awesome day, the best you can.